Did you know that coconut oil is actually the eighth wonder of the world? <laughs> I'm just joking. But it really should be. Hey everybody, I'm Jessica Perrier, Platinum Premier Leader of my team of Poshpreneurs, and today I want to tell you about my top 12 tips for coconut oil. I can't tell you how many times I've had a customer contact me and say, help, my coconut oil is hard, there's something wrong with it. So if you've ever said that yourself, you're not alone. Coconut oil actually solidifies at room temperature, or to be precise, 76 degrees Fahrenheit. In case you keep your house super air conditioned, or maybe you wanna use your coconut oil in the cold months because it is a fabulous moisturizer, all you've gotta do is grab a cup of hot water and your solidified coconut oil and pop it in. We're gonna sit this here during our video so we can watch that this is actually going to liquefy right before our very eyes. Sometimes I'll just sit on it for a minute too. That does the trick. You can run it under hot water, you can stick it in a cup of warm water. I use my coconut oil in the shower a lot, so I'll just throw it under my shower stream as I'm showering, and by the time I'm finished up, my coconut oil is good to go and nice and liquefied. If I was headed to a deserted island and I could only choose one pampering product to bring with me, it's 100% going to be coconut oil. Coconut oil is such a triple duty, quadruple duty, like 10... Coconut oil does it all. Although I might request for a second product to be sunscreen because hello, I burn. Speaking of sunburn, if you do happen to get burnt this summer, coconut oil is going to be your savior. Progress is already being made. Okay, so it's the summertime. That means it's time to shave your legs, right? Or maybe? If you are a shaver, Coconut oil is actually a really great shaving cream. You just smooth it right onto your legs and you can shave right away. Which means that if you're in a pinch and you're shaving in the sink, you just need your coconut oil. Smooth it on there, shave those hairs away, and then smooth it on to moisturize after. Speaking of shaving, does anybody suffer from razor burn or razor bumps? You guessed it, smooth coconut oil on after shaving to prevent any of that irritation. This is a great skin protectant and it's just gonna sink right in and moisturize those freshly shaved legs. Ladies, if you wanna get a little romantic time in, it's a fabulous massage oil too. Let's talk about coconut oil for hair. Coconut oil makes a fabulous deep conditioning treatment. So what you can do is the night before you're going to wash your hair, go ahead and smooth it in pretty much from all of the hair from your neck down. And for an extra heavy duty treatment, wrap your hair in saran wrap. Yeah, that's right. Wrap that bun right up in saran wrap so it really packs that heat in and really makes that coconut oil sink right in. It's going to repair your hair seriously like nobody's business. Once you've finished a hairstyle for the day, do you ever get those little bitty flyaways or maybe the little split ends that you've got if you're in between cuts at the tip? Just a teeny little bit of coconut oil smoothed between your hands. Those are going to smooth away any flyaways. But sometimes when I'm hanging out with my niece, I like to play makeup and I let her paint my face. And let's just say she can get a little carried away. Coconut oil is actually the best makeup remover that you could possibly ask for. It's gentle and it gets right in there and breaks up the makeup like a dream. If you've got heavy eye makeup or even just regular facial makeup, a little bit of coconut oil rubbed between your hands and then gently massage it. And you're basically giving yourself a face massage with your coconut oil. But meanwhile, that oil is getting into that makeup and just breaking it right apart. It literally pulls the makeup from your face. So you're going to gently rub your eyes very gently. You don't want to be creasing. You don't want to be pressing hard because that's what's going to give us those crow's feet and those wrinkles that we so desperately do not want to have. But you're gently rubbing the coconut oil, massaging it all over. It breaks up all of the makeup and then you're able to just rinse it away. And remember guys, this is my deserted island product because it's such a double duty tasker. After you've removed your makeup with your coconut oil, just a tiny little dab again, and you're able to moisturize your face. This is a one-stop shop face cleaner and face moisturizer. P.S. guys, I've been filming for about five minutes and this guy is completely liquefied. So you can see the difference between the two bottles. One is completely liquefied and one is still solidified and it's simply a difference between the temperature. How I actually use my coconut oil the most is I keep it right in my shower. I've turned the water off, I reach down and grab my coconut oil and then I just smear it all over my body. I use it as a pre-moisturizer moisturizer. moisturizer. Now, 
if you wanted, you could smear this all over and that would be totally good to go and you're moisturized for the day. But I like to let it soak in as I'm combing my hair out and starting to moisturize my face and then I follow up with an additional moisturizer. Again, you totally don't need it. I just like to have my skin as super smooth as humanly possible. So I use my coconut oil as a pre-moisturizer moisturizer before I've even gotten out of the shower. Wet skin loves moisturizer and when you are moisturizing before you've even toweled off, you're pressing some of that moisture right back into your skin. So it really allows that skin to hold that water and really just glow for the rest of the day. So I've already blown through about 10 tips for using your coconut oil. I'm going to leave you with just two more. And these are kind of random ones that you wouldn't necessarily think of. This guy is a fabulous cuticle moisturizer. So if you're ever sitting somewhere and you've got an extra couple of minutes or if you keep one by your nightstand or maybe by your couch because you know at night I like to spend a lot of time on my couch Netflix and chill you know <laughs> you take just a little dab and you can massage it into your nail beds and into your cuticles and it's really going to strengthen them make them look that much healthier and allow your nails to grow even better lastly I am always on the hunt for a natural deodorant that really does work and you would never guess that coconut oil can be a really great natural deodorant. For that matter, it's also a really good anti-thigh rub. You know, you wear the shorts, your thighs rub together. Smear some coconut oil in there. So, like I said, if I had to choose one product to bring onto my deserted island, it would absolutely be one of my coconut oils. Definitely something I would bring on vacation with me. Definitely something I have on hand all of the time. Now, do you need a fancy, wonderfully smelling one from Posh? No, not at all. You can go to your local grocery store and pick up any kind of coconut oil. But if you wanna have a super luxurious, posh experience, then spring for a perfectly posh coconut oil. We've got absolute passion fruit, which simply smells like vacation, or smells like summer. It smells amazing. And then we've also got castaway coconut. I love coconut. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong. Any of these coconut oils are simply wonderful. A little tiny bit goes a long way, just like any other posh product. These are my top 12 ways that I like to use my coconut oil. Do you use your coconut oil in a way that I didn't talk about? Drop me a comment down below. I want to hear about it. Any way that I can incorporate more coconut oil into my pampering routine, I'm more than happy to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. 